mother in Saraland is asking for help as her daughter gets ready for major surgery to remove half her brain. Medical bills and long hospital stays are taking a toll on the family. Chad Petrie is covering this for us this morning. He is live this morning outside USA Children's and Women's Hospital. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Bill. And it'll be one month from today when 10 year old Tanila Kitchen is scheduled to come here to have this major surgery to hopefully keep her medical condition under control. Tanila's mother sent us these pictures. She says her daughter started having seizures at the age of six and was eventually diagnosed with a rare neurological disorder called Rasmussen's encephalitis that can cause chronic inflammation to one hemisphere of the brain. Two years ago, she had surgery to try to keep the encephalitis contained, but now they have to go to the next step. This major surgery could come with complications and extended months of therapy out of state. Sonia Kitchen says her daughter is staying upbeat and seems to be stronger than she is. I guess a little anxious and scared. Uh, I try to be, you know, upbeat for her, so she doesn't really, she doesn't really understand and process it the way we process it. So she, I don't think she really understands how significant it is to have this type of surgery. Um, only thing I can do is be hopeful. It's really not in my hands. It's in God's hands. Mounting medical bills and time away from home have added up. She started a GoFundMe to raise money for expenses and is also reaching out to businesses to help fundraise. Now, to follow Tanila's journey and also a link to their fundraising account, you can find this story on the front page of our website, WKRG.com. Reporting live in Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.